the Office of Institutional Research creates a fact book each year that lays out the diversity here at UGA. Many officers complain that wearing their seatbelt while they're in their patrol cars hinders them from getting out of the car quickly while they're on a call. Both candidates are urging their supporters to stop damaging campaign signs. One, because it promotes dirty politics, and two, you can actually get arrested for it. Economists say that industries that have the highest job growth usually have one thing in common, and that's the additional investments in education combined with a worker's skill set that employers are looking for. Now, if you are pulling off to the side of the road, you want to make sure you're as far back from the road as much as possible, making yourself visibly known and not blocking these tail lights, especially at night where cars won't be able to see you. A hacker's main goal is to get your information off the computer and try to get what's in your wallet. But what many hackers fail to see is that this type of crime is a felony. Wearing loose, light-colored clothing and using EPA-approved repellent can help to keep the mosquitoes away. And he's asking drivers to move This is one of the many examples of why more than 100 officers in the United States have been killed each year in the line of duty since 1944. Officers from Gwinnett, Georgia State Patrol, and UGAPD attended the Below 100 training session to help officers self-assess the decisions they make while on duty. They're trying to reach everyone in every corner, no matter what size the department, big, small, it doesn't matter. Taylor says officers are killed in accidents by not wearing their seat belts, being unaware of their surroundings, and speeding when on routine patrol. The law enforcement profession exposes officers to conditions that make them 10 times more likely to be in accidents that can cause serious injuries or deaths. Many officers complain that wearing their seatbelt while they're in their patrol cars hinders them from getting out of the car quickly while they're on a call. But statistics show that wearing your seatbelt increases a 50% chance likelihood of them surviving any accident that may occur. And that not wearing your seatbelt is a law enforcement culture that needs to change. It's a mindset that we have to address and we have to get these officers to stop and think about what they're doing and what they're not doing. Captain Huff says driver safety is a topic that can easily be talked about towards citizens, but that it's often hard to approach fellow law enforcement officials about the same thing. He says the Below 100 program is a great way to remind these officers of the simple procedures that can be overlooked. Sometimes we, we forget about because we get caught up in, in the daily routine of our own lives. Slowing down and making cautious decisions is a routine that will bring officers home to their families and not a part of the count above 100. Reporting for Grady News Source, I'm Shannon Wiggins. Locking the car door is as simple with the click of a button, but it can also be overlooked. The America's Police Department experienced 14 car break-ins and three stolen cars in one evening. America's Chief of Police, Mark Gerbino, was surprised by the common theme among the vehicles. What was particularly unusual with this set of crimes was that um, the all 14 vehicles were unlocked with property in them and the three cars had keys in them. Officers say that opportunity crimes, like leaving your keys in an unlocked car, is an open invitation for burglars. Leaving keys in the car and keeping the doors unlocked is apparently a routine that occurs among many residents in Americas. I consider that a testament to what a wonderful place Americas is. <laughs> you know, the thinking's a little unrealistic, but we've got a great city here. Uh, it's just that we have to change with the times. Burglars are going car to car and pulling door handles to see if cars are unlocked. Chief Gerbino advises those in the community to become aware of their surroundings and to avoid being a part of opportunity crimes. Lock your vehicles. Check your home for security. Uh, don't leave your keys in your vehicles. Gerbino says that if burglars are caught in the act, they should not be confronted, but that 911 should be called instead. America's police have made over 15 burglary arrests and are still investigating more. Shannon Wiggins, WALB News 10. If you're driving near 316, you definitely won't be able to miss this site. The Georgia Department of Labor says construction, manufacturing, and retail trade are contributing to the decline in unemployment rates here in Athens. The addition of 2,000 people dropped 0.4% from its 6.8% rate in August. Uh, the recovery is not complete, and the pace of growth is very modest, but we still 
are recovering. In other words, we're not in recession. The economy is adding jobs. Um, the danger, though, is that we, you know, is that the economy is growing so slowly that it could go back into recession. He says the elimination of tax breaks, increasing taxes, and cutting defense in Georgia by the federal government could put us back into a recession by January of next year. While jobs in the private sector are up, jobs in the government sector are down. We have more sectors of the economy that are hiring. The big problem is they're not hiring very quickly. And then the second problem is that the government sector is actually laying off workers. Economists say that industries that have the highest job growth usually have one thing in common, and that's the additional investments in education combined with a worker's skill set that employers are looking for. Individuals that obtain advanced degrees are usually hired in healthcare and business services. Athens has typically remained at low levels of unemployment thanks to the University of Georgia and its multiple medical facilities. While these two factors have helped to stabilize the Athens economy, it still does not make Athens recession proof. The wind isn't the only thing picking up here in Athens. The unemployment rate is dropping, so more people are finding work. I'll tell you where jobs are and aren't being created. The West Now season may be winding down, but it's still a problem here in the state of Georgia. I'll tell you how you can protect yourself. Tragedy at a Colorado movie theater has Douglas police beefing up security here at the Rocky Nate Cinemas. Coming up, we'll tell you what they plan on doing differently this weekend. A good Samaritan is struck and killed after helping a woman on the side of the road with her car. I'll tell you how you can be safe when helping in an act of kindness. We all know how expensive college textbooks can be. Coming up, we'll tell you where students this fall won't have to pay a dime for college textbooks. I definitely see why the unemployment rate is declining around here in Athens, because everywhere I went today, all I saw was construction, which is a big contributing factor to this decline. Local Republicans and Democrats are expecting the gloves to come off in tonight's presidential debate. The debate tonight will focus on foreign policy issues. As Election Day approaches, many believe that tonight's debate will be a tight fight between the two presidential contenders. Now, this is still currently under investigation, but Chief Williamson strongly encourages everyone to freeze those credit accounts. Now, you can do this by either going online or going to a credit bureau, and it only costs $3 to do right here in the state of Georgia. Bring your sunglasses out because we're expecting some sunny skies guys this weekend. I'm Shannon Wiggins with your weather forecast, so let's take a look at how nice it is outside. Such a nice sunny day outside, a typical August day, not too hot, not too cold, but just right. Let's take a look at our current temperatures. Graduates of the University of Georgia are reeling in the paychecks once they find a career. According to Smart Money, the university ranks fourth in helping graduates receive bigger paychecks. The best me is drug free. That's what students at Fowler Drive Elementary are saying to kick off Red Ribbon Week. Students and teachers wore red and received red bracelets to promote a drug free life. The week-long course will prepare them for their upcoming mission to help Afghani farmers improve their crops and standard of living. UJ faculty will help the guardsmen learn how to farm on dry and mountainous land as well as milking dairy cows before they are deployed to Afghanistan in the spring of next year.